Okay, so I am trying to set up a play blast render for the the maximum quality that I can get out of it. And right now, um, there's some settings that we can do in here to make that look better than what we uh, typically see when we hit our play blast. So how do we do that? It's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Um, what I'm going to do first is make sure that I have lighting on and I actually have lit my scene. And uh, I also want to make sure that my renderer viewpoint two point, viewport 2.0 is set up so I can actually get the screen based ambient occlusion on so that should help with some shadows and I'm gonna make sure that my anti-aliasing is checked on that should clean up our render quite a bit so I have those on and I'm also gonna make sure I'm gonna close this turn on shadows that should help for when I am animating that as well and last but not least I'm gonna make sure that my render setting is set up so that I can actually get a quality render out of here. So we go from presets, let's see, 1080, and EXR, that's good. So that's pretty good here. So now if I go into my show, I'm gonna turn everything off. I'm also gonna make sure that my manipulators and my grid and HUD, all that is gone. So once I have everything kind of hidden here, I'm going to go back, turn on my polygons, the scale that up just a hair. Let's get that off screen. Okay. So now, how do I set this up to have a better quality render when I play blast? Last things we really need to do before I forget is let's turn on our hardware fog and motion blur. So right now, shading, hardware fog, super foggy. So let's actually change where that end and start are happening. So I'm gonna push that back a little bit. I don't need a lot of it, just a little bit to add a subtle uh, look to that, just to push, I guess, a perception of um, that fog that would occur in a distance. So. That's good. I'm going to go into my motion blur, turn that on, and we should see as this moves, it blurs a little bit, so that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to right click, go to play blast, and make sure that it is in image mode. I'm going to turn off show ornaments, and I'm also going to make sure that I have my global setup and save to file is turned on, making sure that it goes to where I need that to go. Um, good, it's going to go under images, and let me make sure I just clear these out so I can get a fresh render of this. So, that's good. And, alright, let me just change where that's going to. It'll go to a new folder in images, final test. Alright, we'll send it here. So, we'll go to final test. Alright, now that I have all that, give it a name, save, and global image, all that's good from render settings, good, 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 100% for scale, all right, let's hit apply, okay, now that went a little bit longer than I needed it to, that's looking pretty good, let me go into after effects, here's an older version I had in here, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to right click once After Effects is open, go to Import File, and we'll go to Final Test. Select our first one, make sure that sequence is on, go to Im Import, drag that in, and there's our movie. So that's an easy way to set up a higher quality render than just using the default uh, Play Blast sequence.